Hey guys, Vox here. So I talked about this on stream today and I uh, kind of freaked out and I kind of want to go over my thoughts on EA adding the auction house and item binder to the Companion Act uh, app. Now, I couldn't really formulate my words I, I, earlier. I, I ended up writing some things down, uh, positives and negatives on uh, what this means to the game of Madden and um, kind of what's going on. So I'll link both this post, this post, well actually this post has the, the image right there, so I don't I won't need to link this, but... Uh, I'll, I'll link this. I, I don't know about the APK. I, I don't know about downloading uh, the APK file right now from this guy um, or the Mir site. I don't know about that, so I don't really trust it. Just wait. Right now, it's in like a limited rollout. Kralo talks about it down here. Um, this is a thing. It's something that was available through the Madden Companion app on all platforms, but these apps features only available this time through soft launch. So worldwide launch for the updated features the MCA will be happening soon. So if you don't have it on your app, just wait for it. Basically, the Madden Companion apps on, uh, I think it's just Android right now, people are seeing it, uh, but it will be out sometime soon, you can go through Binary. So overall, I mean, uh, like, if it works correctly, this is, po like, this is a great thing. Uh, positive for the game, um, I, I think it's a, a great addition, able to check out your binder, your stuff when you're on the go, um, you, like, whether you're at work, or you got downtime during school, between classes, whatever, lunchtime, you can manage the binder, um, if you're in your living room watching something with the missus or mister or whatever, um, you can, you can look up, you don't have to be using the living room's main television to, to work the binder in the auction house. You can just be on your phone or your whatever, uh, iPad or whatever you use your, um, app for. So, um, overall, cool. Now you guys know what company we're dealing with and I, I don't feel like I need to explain why this is an issue and why this is, but, but I will. All right. Um, well, let me back up. I think I, I did some research on FIFA today earlier on the on the pop. Uh, uh, sorry, on the on the stream, I was a little more disappointed. So I, I went and researched the FIFA's auction house. Now I know they lost an entire year, and, and the, there's some years there that were really rough with bots. Um, they had some issues with their auction house, and they ended up having to go price ranges. That sucks. Madden Mobile is a disaster. Uh, the way they do their auction house. Um, so. Right now, though, on FIFA. Now, if EA Mutt team learns from FIFA, ports it straight over, learns all their stuff or all their tip, um, I, I don't think sniping's dead for humans. All right, I, I think there'll just be more competition now due to this. Um, so EA can implement things that stops the bots. Um, so like the game's not dead, sniping's not dead for the small guy. At least that's what the FIFA subreddit says. They talk they talk about bots. People say bots are out there, of course, um, but we don't know. Um, what what what's you know how, how big of an impact they're making right now because EA could put in things um, they could implement the captures the recaptures like MLB the show does uh, they could do other methods that won't completely stop them but will, they will slow them down a little bit like they could even delay this web app uh, updating by two seconds to allow humans to get a better chance at it because I mean like EA's EA's motivation here I I think it's it's just another way for us to engage with the game it's something they could easily kind of maybe port over from FIFA or they've had it for a while um, I don't I don't know what what's been going on the uh, but I mean like if they truly wanted to fuck us they could implement their own bots they could be, become like quants with the, with the stock market and they could buy up every underpriced card and then relist it for a sane price or just or just just buy it up and not relist it at all I mean that wouldn't be too hard on EA's end at all so. I don't think their motivation is evil or anything like this. It's just like the negative consequences are there. The possibilities for it is there. Um, I, I mean, like e MLB The Show has a web interface that I, that I talked about and the recaptures. And, and I, I like their stock market better or their market better because it's more like a stock market with a bid and ask price. So you can uh, buy stuff now or uh, you can, you know, um, kind of list it for later. So, so, so you can buy stuff now. Or say, I want to buy it for this price. So it's definitely much more like a stock market action, which I much prefer over Madden. I mean, it is personal preference, uh, whether you like it or not. Uh, but uh, moving on, so there are definitely ways to stop bots. All right, full stop. Um, Madden Mobile, that one has been a disaster. And that's the kind of like the biggest concern is being on a mobile device is getting all those exploits. And and basically from what I've heard of Madden Mobile is you have to be, you, you buy and sell directly from EA because of how messed up their auction house is and the game being able to like root into the files of the phone to get into there. Um, now, remember prior to this year, I said Mutt Squad Seasons are going to be an issue with the CPU because of botting and stuff. There'll be glitches and people take advantage of it. Well, then we saw the ghosting issue. I mean, I, again, I don't have to talk about all their issues. Um, with, with Madden this year, but even big te tech companies like Apple has bugs, like the one with FaceTime right now, where you can hear through somebody else's iPhone. So Madden, 
wouldn't surprise me if there came out a bug on this on this app right there. Uh, it, it gets some like, direct access to the auction house. Um, I have no clue. I'm not that smart about computers, about what they could do with that uh, auction house access. Um, I just feel like, in the end, like may, maybe it's perfect. Maybe it is. May, maybe there isn't that Pandora's box open. Um, maybe it doesn't. Like I, I just don't think we're, we're a lot of people asking for this. That's that's my issue. Like this feels like wasted dev time, and, and, and it it just offer, offers open such a like a can of worms that could cause such an issue with the game and, and completely ruin it and tell you you're mad and because somebody is able to root in to the auction house and, and, and screw some up stuff up. Cards become way too expensive. It takes ten million coins to buy one golden ticket because you know coin generators or coin sellers are able to uh, basically jack up the price and, and and control some of the market. So that's what we saw in the past with FIFA. Um, I. I I guess I would have preferred EA if they were going to put time into this to put their put their time back into developing a public API back in the day like they had with it, so we could get sites like Mutt Rank and other uh, amazing pricing sites that that we had in the past. That would have been my preferred action rather than uh, uh, this kind of stuff and uh, the the auction house. But uh, yeah, I guess we have to hope things don't go sideways. Uh, is this the end of sniping? No, like I said earlier, I, I think. Even on the FIFA subreddit, they mention they're still able to snipe, even against bots, even against the, the population of FIFA. So it's not dead, it's not gone, um, it's just different now. Um, so we got to accept change. I think this, this is, it is going to be a change. It's going to be, a, I, I would suggest everybody goes out there and add us to their phone. I mean, it's nice to have Matt on the go, we're, as if we're not already addicted enough already uh, to the auction house and sniping. So, um yeah, that's all I got. What do you guys think in the comments? Is this positive, negative? I, man, I, I so fear. Uh, but, like, I don't want to just live life in fear of the worst. But I don't think this is going to be the last time we hear about this issue, about this this auction house, about uh, the item binder and companion app and the issues that it causes. If it is, great. Great. There's no issue with it. But, my goodness. I hope... Honestly, I hope bots, if the bots are going to ruin it, I want them to ruin it this year. Um, take take out 19. Please leave 20. But please, everybody, try your best on bots right now, I guess. Call out to all the uh, coders in the community. Try and bust the shit out of 19. Um, we're kind of near the end times. You know, it's six months into the game. I guess we got six months left. But, man, I'd rather sacrifice half a year rather than a whole year. Um, so, fuck this game up, please. Please, please, please. And I, I will say, final thoughts. Overall, I wish they didn't do this. I wish this this wasn't done by EA. Um, just because of the points outlined with, with the bugs and the shit that might happen on the auction house. But you never know. It's, it's, it's a wild world out there. And many competing interests. Clearly, this is one that was at the high top of EA's list. Um, oh, yeah. I saw something from, what is that, uh, Marksman? about being able to see people's IDs. So that's, I mean, in, in years past, you're able to check out people's um, names on the cards. Like Madden 15 was the last time I think you were able to do that. And you would get like messages and you'd message people like, hey, could you uh, post that card for lower? I got a lot of, I got I got some deals on some top end cards asking people to lower their price by a couple hundred thousand coins. Um, and then like, so there's a, there's a, there's I, uh, IDs right there. So they have the IDs, but the only way that you get somebody's gamer tag off that is if like the database leaks. And I mean, we've seen the amount of database leaks in the in the world. Equifax, I think, didn't they have one? Um, so we'll. Uh, I mean, I, that's not the most dangerous of information. People's gamer tags and list cards, but so that's not that big of an issue in my mind. I think I hit most of the points I wanted to say. Are you guys gonna get it? Are you guys worried? Are you guys excited about this? Let me know. Um, we are at 915. I'm not gonna stretch it out to 10 minutes, but you guys have a wonderful night. See you guys later.